McDonald. Juicy Scoop. Hello and welcome to Juicy Scoop. I have the dynamic comedic duo of Julie and Mm. Brandy. Welcome back to Juicy Scoop. It's like a home away from home. Isn't it, though? Yes. We love being here. And you guys are cute. You have matching tennis shoes on. We do. Well, we switched shoes, so we're each wearing one of each other's. The biggest question is, are you guys a couple? <laughs> and I always say no, but every, you know, yeah. every week could could the wind could blow you a never different know. way. Yeah, someday, maybe. Yeah. We'd like to say sometimes. Fingers crossed. <laughs> sometimes. Speaking sometimes. of lesbians, yeah. I feel like I always have like so many lesbian topics when you well, come. And I'm sorry. I don't want to. I don't just. It just happens to fall. Also, I'll I love it. the topic of late in life lesbians. Yeah. And I got word that mm. there is a new show in the works uh, that Hulu is bringing out, a reality show about late in life lesbians mm. out of New York. Have you heard about this? Now, no, I haven't heard of it. Yes. Um, it's, it's not on my, it's not in the underground. However, <laughs> um, I sounds interesting though. Late in life lesbians are not, I always a little suspicious, right? I'm a little suspicious. Like you had your life, you had your kids. Now you're done with men. Yeah. And now you're ready for like the thirst of the lesbian attention. Mm. Well, you know, Bronwyn, I've talked about her before. Mm-hmm. You don't know who I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. She is the mother of seven. Mm-hmm who's full-blown lesbian, mm-hmm. no longer bi. <laughs> she's yeah. her third girlfriend since she came out, who lives in New York. She left her seven children. She's in New York. And I believe <sighs> it's to try to get on this Hulu Late in Life lesbian uh, show. Yeah, well, that would make sense if you're it's trying a, to get on the show. It's a reason to, to leave your children. Yeah, I if think. you have seven kids, what's the one reason one leaves seven kids? <laughs> it's to be on a Late in Life yeah. lesbian Hulu show. Now, did, right. did, did, did she get a divorce? Because they were... Uh, there's no need to. Okay, so there's, she's gonna. She, though she's better. not bisexual anymore. Even she's better. gonna retain she the said, husband. I never want to see another dick in my life. <laughs> right. But the one that I did see for 22 years, I'm not. Uh, there's no reason to get rid of him. He'll just continue to take care of the children, and the home, and the bills. <laughs> I need to go work. As an, I need to go be on another reality show <laughs> with late in life lesbians. And um, yeah, so, is that the whole concept of the show? Which I'm feeling they kind of did I mean, steal from you. Uh, are you telling me? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Like you're telling me whoever this Hulu person is that pitched this wasn't a juicy scooper. It's okay. It's part of my Christian service. Yeah. I give out ideas <laughs> for other TV execs to make money and never consult me, give me credit, or ask me to be on the show. Right. I've accepted that as my burden. I feel <laughs> that like housewives, you know, they hold apples and stuff. Yes. They will hold dicks and balls. Oh, <laughs> small dildos? What do you mean? No, no. They'll just, it's, it'll represent the past. Like a, a real dick from a, a real man. <laughs> like a like a petrified? You mean a, yeah. or uh-huh. it's bronzed? It's, oh, like a bronzed, right. A, like a bronzed dick and balls. That would really just look like a poo. Like a- <laughs> Wouldn't it look like a turd if you're just holding a dick and balls that was bronzed? Yes, yes. It would look like a bronzed yeah. piece of feces. I don't think it should you're be right. bronzed. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, do you want a flesh colored? Um... I'm going to go to this one, then go back. Speaking of big dicks, apparently mm. Pete Davidson has the biggest one in the comedy tattooed world. I don't know what would happen. I mean, do you ever fear being around him? Because apparently <laughs> any woman that goes around Pete Davidson has to go get with him. Do you I, ever think about well, it? That, well, for I one, don't know. You, you, Unfortunately, you I've are... never met him, but I think I'd want to try to hop on. Yeah. You're also a, a woman, technically, <laughs> just so you know. That's true. Do you that fear is it? true. Do you fear? I don't. No, I Have don't Have you fear met it. Pete Davidson? I've never anyway. met him. That No, I'm, I don't fear it. No. After climbing the Kardashian mountain, <laughs> yes. he is going to have to turn to turning lesbians. He, there will be nothing else for him to conquer. <laughs> You're He's right. going to have to become a turner. Uh, yeah, mm. you got to have some goals in life. Now, that's a show. I mean, well, of course, that's a show. Of course, they met um, when they did the sketch on Silent Live where he, she oh, was Jasmine, right. which has been Kim's favorite thing to always be. She was up for Halloween. She, her first um, look for her her second wedding was a Jasmine <laughs> hairstyle headdress. Mm. Um, so it's always been her thing. So I'm sure she suggested, could we do something with Jasmine? And he was the guy, and they shared a kiss and some chemistry. So then they went to Disneyland, which, my God, the Kardashians are at the Disneyland freaking every day. I hope they got a year-round pass. Mm. And um, they went on Splash Mountain, 
and they saw them together. And as you do that drop down Splash Mountain, there was a handhold. And he also mentioned on Jimmy Fallon that he went to Nobu and with and ate with a bunch of people, including the cart, including Kim. God knows they. And then on Nobu. his TikTok, he posted footage or at least one million. Maybe someone has a Pete Davidson with a million followers and it's not the actual Pete Davidson. I think it is. He actually posted him with the Kardashians like paparazzi walking by. So I think he's liking it. And Mm -hmm. now she's in New York. And yes, I think they're fucking. Oh, I 1,000% agree. Shout out to the woman in front at Splash Mountain whose face is in every photo. She's like, oh, and she's in front of them. And it's incredible. I'm pretty sure she's probably one of the assistants or something. Yeah. Because I don't think they're sharing a log <laughs> right. with randoms. Okay. But, but but dreams can come true if only you're at you're at can you Splash Mountain. You're at Splash Mountain, and, like, and Pete fuck? Davidson and Clay, uh, Kim Kardashian get a, I mean, you would die. You would die. I mean, I would. I would. I would because I hung out with them before. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. But um, they go. They go all the time. I'm telling you, people. There is a 90 percent chance that when you go to Disneyland, one of the Kardashians and their kids will be there. I mean, <laughs> I feel like they're there every other day. Well, we lurk on Nobu like nobody's business. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. we and that's have true. never run in, and I'm constantly. When you feel say robbed. lurk, you mean you're actually at the restaurant lurking around. Oh, we get dinner reservations. How do you get the dinner reservations? You have to call like three months in advance at 7 a.m. and wait in line. Yeah. And you get it's it. It's tedious. And we've been to Nobu <laughs> uh, over 50 times and looking for those two. And you just get a two. table for two? Or do you... Oh, no. We've been with groups and well, we... Well, hello. Why are you not inviting the person that's made your career, Heather McDonald? Oh, okay. Well, Next we will time. now. We will now. You have mm-hmm. to invite us to a dinner. No, I mean, I would think you'd be like... uh Thanks, but no thanks. I'm going to be seen with you guys. And that'll, that'll be the time you run into the Kardashians. Like, hey, I will guys. always pick a Nobu situation. Mm. I really like it. Oh, it's so, so good. anyway, I think, and some people are feeling the same. Really, Kim? Really. Yeah. Your sister finally got a dude and some major attention by dating a skinny white <laughs> tattooed dude. And now suddenly you have the same type. So like good. let yeah. let your sister have yeah. the market yeah. on skinny tattooed white men. Yeah, you have the other market. Let her have one thing. Yeah, I mean I hate to. F- I just remember going yep. to Courtney's birthday. One of the first times I hung out, I said this already on the show, and it was to celebrate Courtney's birthday. And this was before the show had started, and I was at Koi with Chris. And Kim had just come back from filming something for, like, the Style Network or doing something about closets. Because remember, she just organized people's closets. Yeah, and She would right. recommend the proper kind of hanger to get to get the most clothes right. in your closet. And then she'd sell And she was stuff very excited about it. I was asking her about it. And she goes, Kim, it's Courtney's night. <laughs> it's Courtney's <laughs> night. Don't God, talk about the hangers. Kim. That is oh what a mother God. of six <laughs> has to do. I um so I'm shook. How do you I'm feel? really shook. I think they're of course I think they're doing it. And I mean this guy, I think I guess he just has I don't even know that he's that I think the he has I think he's an average size. No, um, I think it's big. I've heard I've heard from some insiders that he is extremely good in bed. But even well, to that's, get to that. But that's the thing, is that that's how he's radiating the big dick energy is by walking up and just the confidence on that dude. It's crazy it's crazy and she just i think people just must be because i've never seen her with a type like that not even to just play around plus he loves drugs she's totally square i mean that guy parties hard and we know with kate beckinsale i mean this is all allegedly yeah god knows every person on the planet listens to this damn podcast we can't even speak freely here we can't even talk the shit we want just say allegedly well i mean we i you know it's like we have in all the blind items it was about him and like kate beckinsale just like this guy just parties. I mean, and I don't think he hides it. And he, okay. you know, and Kim, we know, we've definitely met her a handful he was, of times. He was engaged to Ariana Grande. Yeah. Then he was Kate Kate Beckinsale, which was kind of interesting because that was the girl that came after. And she's a mother, dropped a gorgeous too. Wow. Really high IQ, we just found out. And um, 
your vagina has a high IQ too. I yeah. Guess. If you're gonna if you're gonna fuck, why not just get the best in the biz? Yeah, you have to. And I believe he seems like he has a high IQ personally. Mm. I think he's. Um, I'm not attracted to him. Now I haven't got to feel the big dick energy in real life, so I can't say for Are sure. Are you, Julie? <laughs> Yeah, I, f- I don't know. I feel the turn is a turning. I feel the change is a coming. I don't, I mean, I, you know, yeah, I, though, th- I, to, just to see all these women get with him, it makes me question any woman that would be around him. I'm like, are you going to be next? Like, I don't, I don't know. I thought it when I watched the SNL, I was like, I, it just flashed through my mind, like, wow. I wonder if he's going to push up on because his his confidence knows no bounds. He loves the chase. He loves. I mean, and he's and he's a complete like. If, do you think if that they he's start an hanging though? out now with Machine Gun Kelly Oof. and oh, the uh, thirst and and uh, what is her name? Megan Fox. Megan Fox, who also now sounds like Kim when she talks. Ooh. Really, she sounds like a Kardashian. Oh, I thought you said sounds like him. I'm she sounds like him. What were Kim? you going to say? Just... My question is: Do you think that he's an? Is he getting all these women because he ignores them, which would then get you know what I mean? He's not coming up in the way of like, hey, what's up? You want to see my tattoos and my big dick? Like he's <laughs> ignoring them. He's like, yeah, whatever. And then of course you then. That's, I do that, love a move like that. Yeah, do you? The, yeah. I think the move is I'm this goofy, scrappy guy. <laughs> That obviously you won't be interested in, but he knows that you will be. Mm. So it's like this charming, humbling kind of, but also very sweet and very like nose to touch and be like, wait, let me get that for you kind of stuff. And then maybe even get so close, like as you're getting like a coffee at the SNL thing, you make sure that that big dick slightly (laughs) on the thigh, slightly touches the thigh and you don't mean to. But you feel it, and I don't think Kim has had dick in a while. I don't think she uh, and Kanye were boning, really, in the last couple of years. Yeah. The last two kids were conceived through surrogacy, and mm. so he was gone in Wyoming. He was running for president. He was doing – I just don't think <laughs> they were, like, regularly boning at all, and it could even be years. I agree. So, yeah. Um, so she's – so – the horniness is in place. Mm, totally. She was ripe mm. for the picking. I will say, mm. the minute I heard this, I bought a Kanye 2020 sweatshirt, and I'm not kidding. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, one, because it was cute, and I've been uh, only doing sweatshirts. And it's 21 now? But yeah, because it's his, it's his, it's his presidential campaign, okay. and it's a moment in time, and I want... Did you really get it? Yeah, I did. And I'm like... I wish you would have worn it. <laughs> I know. I was going to, and then I was like, well, let's not... Let's just give it time. But I, I'm, I'm, I don't know that I would... I think Kanye probably has. Well, let's talk about Kanye for a minute. Um, oh wait, well, let do you me think go, wait, he knows, Let me go back to this real quick. Do you quick. think he's I good wanna, in bed, Heather? Kanye? Um, I really don't. I don't. You don't. Well, I just always remember what Amber Rose <laughs> what? said. What'd she say? Amber Rose once did a tweet that she had to do a lot of ass play with him. <gasps> oh, well. really? Yeah, I like, love Amber Eddie Rose. Had... Once did a tweet, <laughs> <laughs> and. I think it was an insinuation that she – and this is just how I interpreted the the tweet, not saying it's real, that it involved, you know, I Toys. don't know, strapping, pegging, wow. working your forearm more than I'd want to. Oh, I mean, Amber Rose now herself, she's, yeah. she's, she's a les- she's a late-in-life well, lesbian. She's an early-in-life, too late-in-life. Her late in life. outfit last night or Halloween – I thought it was her own tits out, but it was like a prosthetic tit. Did you see it? Yeah. It, so that was a prosthetic tit yes. out. So it was like, and she's some robot bimbo or some like superhero from a movie or what was that? I didn't know. I thought it was the same type of thing of Cardi B in that video where her boobs are out. Like, But it's not real boobs. I don't think so. Okay. I mean, but we know Amber Rose did thing where she showed her full, like, well, it was, it wasn't, I wouldn't say it was a full bush, but it was her puss hair and it was From when? it was great it Doing was like what? it was like a instagram picture or instagram wouldn't do it so it was on twitter and you could just see her puss and i mean i was immediately on google like where is this <laughs> i won't sleep until i see her vagina okay and it was well worth it well i have hung out with her twice mm. and last time she came here and she was with the baby daddy of the second child and they have since broken up was she she radiates radiates big dick energy i think yeah and she really is like 
there's something very sexy and voluptuous and like very pretty about her. Yeah. I mean, like honestly, like, like, I would love to see her and Pete Davidson go in in like a contest. <laughs> oh, geez. And, yes. Oh, my God. That is so good. Because I think she could get, she could pull a lot of oh, pussy, like, I think. I'm that sorry, is a great me. show. Yes. I love it. <laughs> well, Kanye, excuse me, ye kicked off a new <laughs> round of worship and gospel singing and invited some interesting guests, including Justin Bieber and Marilyn Manson. So people are like, why are you bringing Marilyn Manson, who, you know... Looks like the devil himself. The devil, and there's very, very strong claims, and I mean, I don't know where we are legally with it, but has a horrible reputation as far as some of the... I mean, I've investigated it, and it he has the claims are horrific what he did to former girlfriends and things i'm just gonna say that go look it up i don't know where it is as far as like legal or lawsuits or what not a delight of a boyfriend okay (laughs) in a really bad way and and young girls you know yeah um who was the actress that he was with can you look up she's a lesbian now too (laughs) you know um the girl three names yeah from three names we look up Evan Rachel Wood. Yes, Evan Rachel Wood. Yeah, she's lesbian. Has shared a lot about the traumatic mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. she had being his girlfriend. Anyway, they all sang, and they're wearing, and they're, and this was a TMZ exclusive where they, I guess they maybe got a drone. It looked like they were just like in a, a parking lot, like in a big lot parking lot, <laughs> and wearing these white outfits, and he was just singing weird like. Hey, must like remember when um, North sang yep. at his show and brought Kim to tears. Yeah, and she was like, "Lalo!" <laughs> like it was like, "What is this?" So, um, how do you know? Like, can anyone just go to that? Well, Julie's been dying to go to Sunday go. service since it got canceled. I need to see this show. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the, where this parking lot is. I don't know why they're wearing rain boots. It was a hot day. That looks I like guess, they're in I guess. Wait, I mean, it'd be interesting to go to a church service and before you get there, they're like, and pick up your outfit, pick up your hat, white hazmat outfit before <laughs> right. you yeah. pray. I w- always wonder: are they are they extras from Central Casting? Mm. Well, I do think like the gospel people that sing along with them. I think they are like paid gospel people i mean i would hope they would get yeah. paid mm. and then you have a couple other people but who, i don't know because like at coachella people. he had a big long line of people walking and i was like huh where i do mean you get is those there extras? like a basket that goes around and does he like every other church service does he give a little part of the sermon about hey um you know if that's we're, a good if we're question gonna find another parking lot like i need you guys to yeah. <laughs> we're, we're trying more money we're trying to, to get the costco in woodland hills <laughs> we're gonna send around the basket it's a little bit's a little bigger than this. We're trying to get some chairs next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't understand because it's happened so many different places. Well, Julie and wants to go. I know we. She will not sleep now that she knows it's back thanks mm-hmm. to the juicy scoop. Mm-hmm. You will be. Thank you. I, I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it, and we'll you know. Like if we'll, you find we'll, it, we'll it would be know. kind of fun to do a juicy scoop field trip. Oh my god! I mean, it'd be and then go to Nobu after. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What Perfect. does Jesus want more than for us to go to a parking lot and worship and then eat the best sushi and see celebs? Seven loaves and f- two fishes yeah. or whatever. Yeah. We can make, we can fill it. That's oh. what happens. They only, Nobu only had two fishes. <laughs> He came and yeah. it just it filled the restaurant with food. Oh, Do you think? He, forget about the supply chain. No, oh, he no problems it, there. And forget about the fact that no one can hire. No one wants to work. <laughs> yeah. The, the no. waiters just show up when he comes to Nobu's. Do you think Kendall Jenner still goes because she was a fixture at Sunday service? She was. Yeah, I feel like she'd be the least religious of them all. I don't know that she was there for religion. <laughs> oh, you know, it's the thirst. Ultimately, uh, first and foremost, it's the Thursday st- service. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You know? uh, no, I don't know if she could. I don't. In this report, it was just about Marilyn Manson and Justin. I don't think any of the family went. I think this was Sunday, so they had to get ready for their costumes because, my God, oh. did Courtney have a busy holiday season? Okay, let's go here. So they did all these photos that she posted. This is she and Travis, who she re- they go hardcore. They get the perfect wigs. They're the couple from True Romance. Yeah, it's, cl- oh, it's clear. And they, they did they booty. Did they did all this stuff. She had every outfit. She had the glam squad there. They covered up all of his neck tattoos, and he went along with it. Okay, 
So this is her here. Some people thought putting her hand there meant she was pregnant with a baby. I don't know. Now, this was a big problem for people because his wife, Shanna Mochler, his ex-wife, this was a big movie for them, which is why they named their daughter Alabama. Oh, well, that's this was their favorite movie. I'm and against everything. that. That's uh, like so rude. I think that's I think that's so pretty rude. shitty. Yeah, I have to say. Like, really? And Out of obviously, all the Kourtney Kardashian choose, knows that, too, because she's course. known them for years. Of course. Years, years, years. Both of them. Him and Shannon. And it's just weird. It's kind of surprising. I mean, look how far they went. They did all these photos. They did a movie poster. They did the shoots. Okay, this was one Halloween costume, okay? They also then, last night, just when I thought it was over, <laughs> I noticed that they uh, she made him dress up again. This time as Edward Scissorhand and whoever his girlfriend was. I was never into this movie. Winona I don't Ryder. know. Again, they covered up yeah. all his makeup, I mean, all his tats, did the makeup, got him the outfit. I mean, this glam squad is like so it, it, tired. I, mean, oh. I just hope they had Monday off. I just said, like, like, thank God Thanksgiving is over. And he did it, a full photo shoot. She got him flowers to cut with oh and stuff. Oh, my God. This is all. Is this all they have though? They've got pooch they, or whatever it's called. Poosh. Poosh. Yeah, Poosh. it was a rip off of Goop, and this is it. And then, of course, last week when they went to parties last week, they were Sid and Nancy. It never ends. Oh, so this was their first one. Their first Sid and Nancy was first. Okay. Then they were the Alabama, uh, whatever the uh, True Romance, which you know sparked a big thing. And then there, and then final thing was the Edward Scissorhands. And then today she did post a, a photo of her daughter being the girl from Clueless. So and, one single photo of one child, <laughs> yes. which is a children's holiday. And though. I think there was one of the kid in like a, you know, a party city, uh, the rain in a uh, Superman. Oh. She almost had me back with Kim thirsting on Pete Davidson. But then this lost me again right here. I, I, I wasn't even really mad at them. Like, you know, I was all for the love. Yeah. This Halloween fiasco. It's too much. I'm like, what? It, what is the goal? What is the goal here? What is this? Like, I mean, I I kind of love that you know people you know made fun of the fact like she's going punk and she changed her style and everything. But I was like, you know what? She was with this guy that was cheating on her that you know throughout Scott Disick and like this and this was her friend and they've known each other for years. I thought it was really beautiful, like two divorced forty something year olds finding each other. Now I'm just like, okay. <laughs> We're like, all just, you know we have, what? We just have... fucking get married <laughs> yeah. and be like another forty-year-old couple because I'm sick of like celebrating your love. Yeah, we have like fatigue. I'm sick of it. It's, yeah. It's, how much can you do? You're gonna get the costume and then you're gonna do a photo shoot. Unless you're now manufacturing that costume, like <laughs> you know what? We started a costume business, so now we're taking pictures in front of flowers and doing acting out every scene so we can sell these costumes that we've made this. Bu- Why are we looking at you do this? So you can hire. So they're like, we're just providing jobs to. <laughs> 15 hair and makeup people. We hired our full production company to come light this and set these photos up. I guess it's just to give people jobs because all people did was double tap and scroll on. And now we're beyond it. It's like, yeah. I couldn't well, think I'm talking of- about it. So thank you for the content. Um, so, okay. You guys probably heard about this. I talked a little bit about it. This little update mm. on the Yolan- Yolanda Gigi Hadid and Zayn Malik situation. So the singer, Zane, who denied the shoving claims that Yolanda said he shoved her into a dresser and called her a Dutch slut, must serve... <laughs> that is true. We didn't hear the Dutch slut part. <laughs> that makes it more important. 360 days of probation, which I guess just means at your house. I don't even know if that means you have to have an ankle bracelet. And complete both an anger management course and a domestic violence program, according to court documents obtained by people. What is the the... Um, situation or did it's not house arrest so he wouldn't have to have a bracelet an ankle I just think it's probation and that if you get in trouble for anything else yeah. then you would go to jail and then you just go to meetings yes so I think you go to your your meetings which is good for anybody um and but they're done I think they're done. I read Julie the story and the first thing she said was like my love I don't talk about my Lyme disease anymore <laughs> my do, love you do a great you love my love hello my love hi my love hello my love my love my Lyme disease is getting very very soft now my love because your boyfriend he pushed me my love my love there's sticks in the lemon tree my love my love does everyone ever, ever lemon, even remember lemon, well there was the lemon chicken there was the clear <laughs> the there was the lemon grove the they had a she, whole lemon grove. Yes. I love lemons, my love. 
Don't push me. I'm not a Dutch slut, Zane. No, my love. I mean, how did he? What do you think? Did he do it? I think that they probably didn't get along. And I mean, I don't know. People think like she showed up and they just started arguing. Maybe she was just like, get off the. Like, I don't know if she was like yelling or if she wasn't happy how he was treating the daughter or raising her. I don't know if maybe he was, you know, in her opinion, intoxicated. I don't know. I don't know mm. what happened. But I think it was the ultimate mother in law situation. <laughs> And mm. poor you know, Gigi, I she, love Gigi. Gigi, my love, Gigi. Bella. I can't, Gigi, Bella. <laughs> Gigi, Gigi, my love. You know, you have to get your body together if yeah. you want to be a well. You got to do the cleanse. She had yeah. her famous cleanse. You don't want to look like a big volleyball lesbian, my oh, love. That's right. That was <laughs> so such you a great. Don't look like She's a like, why can't I? But mo- you're not a model. But <laughs> modeling's my job, and volleyball's my sport. Oh. Big broad shoulders. <laughs> yeah, right. You don't want to look like a volleyball lesbian. I swear to God, she said volleyball lesbian. Do you think I- maybe <laughs> she went over there and she was triggered by the fact that Zayn had purchased a volleyball <laughs> for could Gigi be. to go on the beach and have some fun with her lesbian friends that had just been cast in the Hulu? <laughs> right. Maybe maybe Zane, Zane, life lesbians, my love. Maybe Zayn tried to get a Kai. Is it Kaya? Kai, their little daughter. Maybe he was like playing volleyball with her. <gasps> and Yolanda just freaked because we can't be doing any athletics. Kai is a third love. generation model. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we do not want big broad shoulders. Mm-mm. Mohammed won't like it, my love. He just won't. And I'm what sorry. about Anwar? Is Anwar still with. Anwar He was with. Son. Who was he with? He was with someone. Yes. Someone he good. Was, and I was like, was. oh, like Dua Lipa, I think Anwar. I think Anwar and Dua Lipa, seriously. Wow. And I can't think of anything weirder than this combo, Anwar and Dua. <laughs> I don't, like, wow. Dua, I always think it's so, weird to go, Dua, come here, Dua. <laughs> Dua, there's a phone call this for just, you. This isn't good for him. It makes him look really bad. Really bad. Um, and uh, I hope that... It didn't bother me. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. It didn't, honestly, it made me... I felt you, bad for Gigi because I feel like... She to- obviously could not be more caught in the middle. And their private family stuff... Yeah. I don't need, think needed to be made public like that. Yeah. And I blamed, I, I don't blame the victim, God forbid, but I, I, I'm I just saying like the it's fact that it's that we so public. Yeah. yeah. I felt bad for Gigi. I felt bad for the little daughter. And I'm like, Yolanda, just bug. Yeah. I mean, there just is a bug thing at Yolanda, Yolanda where she did You didn't damn shut Dutch up slut. <laughs> but also, how would you feel if, he, if you were the mother and your daughter's significant other who you have a child with, you're tied to this fucker forever? Physically pushed me. Yeah. I. Well, first of all, I would that's, want, if, that, I would I mean, want the world no. to know so that my daughter gets away. By being public and making it known, people are not going to support the reunion of this. And if you really don't like this man for your daughter and he actually did this, why keep it a secret? Yeah. Because she's and she's definitely like you said trying to keep it so that they cannot get back together because they could have been breaking up and getting back together like behind the scenes and we didn't see that. Is Mohammed keep- Gigi's father? Yes. yes. So it seems to me that Mohammed, with all his money, all his well, he money, doesn't have much anymore. He lost he that doesn't? big. He lost that big lawsuit where they're just going to take that big giant house down. <gasps> he built a big, big, overly yes. giant house. Yes. That people in Bel Air were fucking terrified every day that it was just going to go rolling on top of their heads. Mm. The one where Kyle did the splits in the basement? Or was that the other house? <laughs> it might have been that, but it might have been one that he was building. Like okay. a spec one. And they kept saying, this is too big. This is not appropriate for whatever. And that he did lose. Whatever happened. And mm. then the girl that he was with all that time, she left him. I interviewed her when they did a show on E! called Second Wives Club. I interviewed her... Um, and she has since left him because there was rumors that he was cheating on her. Like, it, there's nothing worse than when you're 30 years old and your boyfriend's 70. And you find, and you're gorgeous. Gorgeous, that girl. And a total sweetie. And ever, the whole family loves you. And you find out that he's pursuing a Polish girl DMing her. So they broke up. She's now happily married to someone else that's like somewhat her age. Mm. When we saw him yes. in front of Bottega, Bottega Louis yes. um, in leather pants. In <laughs> How hot of a day was two. it? I know it was evening, but it was in the summer. It was a warm summer evening. Yes. And he came up with his hair and the fresh blowout the and the entourage. Hair. And we were like, yeah. oh, <laughs> yeah. 
Muhammad. That is, that is it's true. amazing. That is true. I just would think if you are that I've had a dinner powerful. with Muhammad. And his he's kind of charming. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was the sighting. You you see everyone in WeHo. It was like we had Oh, Muhammad. and he had an entourage. Yeah, it was I mean, great. it was, you know. But I would just think Zayn, yes. which should be a little scared if dad has that much money and can hire anyone he wants to come by. To I go, definitely think uh, he uh, might uh, <laughs> have people that would be intimidating in his phone. Uh, yeah. Uh, I yeah. would think that yeah. that would make sense. I mean, if I would think if I was, if somebody and pushed my mother. And maybe that's why mother, he didn't fight it. And he was just like, all right. Uh, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. I'm done. I'll do whatever. <laughs> yes, like, yeah. just. Uh, maybe she was looking. And this isn't to, to, to excuse anything. I'm just, my mind's just yeah. working to figure out if she's looking in, in the dresser for something and he pushes her away because he doesn't want her to find mm. what he's yes. hiding. Oh. I think those, that yeah. it makes uh, sense. Possibly. Yeah, can't. You can't. I mean, that's just you can't. I, I don't even know what, what what any of us would do if someone pushed our mom. Be, and hopefully oh he wasn't like, <laughs> "Don't look in there." And it was a diamond <laughs> ring, but I don't think it was. Oh right, oh. it was a it was a big birthday surprise for Gigi. <laughs> it was a bunch of lemons he'd stolen from the tree. It was for the old. It was a up. thing of ticks that he had kept. <laughs> this is our private that no one should be hearing. He keeps the sexy book that she made for David Foster. And he oh, keeps it. he had the sexy <laughs> bottle. Did you guys ever see? He was hoarding it and looking. When don't look, did, Yolanda. When I have Yolanda your did her own music video for David Foster, where she was a, a sexy flight attendant from the sixties. No, yes. <laughs> and it was to one of his piano songs. It was a create a song she created. Oh. So that and gets it's even like better. she's like my love do do, and then it's like on the private jet, and she's got like a. A European 1960s sexy flight attendant outfit. It's a music video. It's out there. And one can find it? I believe one can find this it. This is important. This is maybe very that's important. maybe Zayn found it. <laughs> I was gonna resurface it and she was like, stop it. Like he's already married to his fifth wife with another baby. Mm-hmm. What is her maybe name? Maybe Zayn was remixing the song <laughs> yes. that she created. I need to find it. Because nothing, I, 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 I just, these I just are the find things it. that everyone needs to find. Okay, yes. I'm gonna give. Go ahead. Here we go. Some of them may be harder than others. Okay. That video. Uh huh. Erica Jane's TED Two Talk out of Pasadena that she paid to have. Haven't seen it. Got to look it up. It's on YouTube. Okay. And I'll I'll do a little bit of it. So um, <laughs> I remember I was at a spa in. Mm. Scottsdale, and I was watching the water roll down the rocks. <laughs> oh my God. And I thought, it's time for me to reinvent myself. And the next day I had back-to-back spa appointments, and I said, you know what, I'm not going to take those spa appointments. I'm going to figure out what my next chapter is. And like the water that rolled down the rocks, I swear Oh, my God. God. And it was like very, re- obviously very rehearsed. Like she studied, like somebody, I'm sure <laughs> Mikey Pat the Puss. <sighs> Got it, hired a writer to write it, had her memorize it, and and then I joined a little show called Real House at Beverly Hills. And then and then the people that went to go see it, all, solely because of her, it's not like someone was like, you know what I'd like to do? I, there seems to be an inspiring talk by a woman who was a stripper turned waitress turned um, Gold wife, digger. wife of a, third wife of a... Ambulance law, chaser of a law, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, of an um, ambulance chaser. Yes, and then became um, a criminal. Oh, uh, Madonna! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would like to go to that with a couple girlfriends. Yeah. Get inspired. Mm-hmm. Let's see what she's like. I don't know. I've never heard of her. I just and aren't well, TED talks like a, there's like a few in one day as well. So you just, know the other people. It was like a it was oh, like and a, the third an one is mm, which I do think has been scraped. But it is a YouTube pilot that I found. Can't remember who told me about it. I still get chills when I think about it (laughs) because I definitely think it's gone. But it was Kim, Kyle, and Kathy Hilton put together a pilot presentation of their life. Have you seen it? I think, Beverly Hills. Wait, I think we that's saw that. where. I, and they decide they sit around, and the guy filming it is breathing so heavy, <laughs> like he's got like an old man. Just like, <laughs> and they are talking about how they are going to go and meet the homeless in Beverly Hills. Wait, They're making familiar. food. They're making and snacks. They, don't they drive? They drive, and they approach 
definitely mentally ill uh, homeless people and invite them to go get pedicures with them. Now that I I, don't remember. I remember the Nobody beginning took part. them up on the pedicure. Okay. But Kim goes, I mean, what would you like to do? Would you like to get a job? And this lady <laughs> that's like been living on the streets is like, I like computers. She, you guys, she wants to get, we're going to get you into computer school. Would you like that? No, I don't. Then she was like, no, I don't no. think I want to. I, well, would you like to get a pedicure? And I'm thinking, do you imagine you're the poor girl at the pedicure place? Like, what the fuck is this? The guy's breathing. The homeless person. Like, oh, my God. I, 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 we I, we saw that? it. I, feel like we I, saw I think it. I... I never told Kyle, but I thought, you know, I really enjoy Kyle. This needs to be scraped from the internet. I think it might be scraped. Maybe well, somebody we downloaded it. it. Oh, yeah. We need someone who, who yeah, rigged exactly. it. I mean, it was... If they leave up... If, and not that it's even bad, but if they leave up, um, I love my friends. I was just thinking that. You know, I was oh, just that, thinking She loved that. that, though. And then for her, for Chris's 60th birthday, we did... Another video, yeah, to update. We saw it. that, yeah, yeah, and we and myself and my friend Liz and Susanna, we went to Costco because she really, at a time, <laughs> would still go to Costco up until about like six years ago. Chris loved going to Costco herself. Hmm. Maybe I love yeah. Chris. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah. love Chris. Love yeah. Chris. Well, I would think I don't know. I love my friends. It's I just love like, my it's like friends. OJ's like, we love you. And yeah. it's like, well, you could have cut that part out. <laughs> but why? Why rewrite history? And then at the end of the video. It was Caitlin in a bathtub. Oh, that's going. Right. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Caitlin wasn't at the party, uh, but that uh, was part of the video, and I was just like, "Oh my god!" Mm, mm. Uh, we need I uh, somebody I know. If all the people that listen to this, because I know we have seen that Chris, Kyle, and uh, it sounds uh, or Kim, so Kathy, familiar, and Kyle. Like, yeah, I can visualize them going to the street. I can visualize them yes. bringing food. I, I, you've seen it. Well, I don't know if we thought it was a special. They made sandwiches with water and a, yeah. and a granola yeah, bar in we brown think it paper was a pilot bags for anything. No, it was okay. It was some type of thing to try to get there. No, because I've when I interviewed Kyle, she said originally they were going to have a show with the three of them, and then somehow after she did like an E True Hollywood story about Paris, the production company approached her to do. Beverly Hills Housewives, mm. and I I don't know, now if, I'm trying to remember, but either Kathy didn't want to do it, or they felt three would be too many to sort of overtake, and, and Kathy chose not to do it. I think Kathy didn't want to do it. it, and then that's how Kim got involved. Yes. Right? Oh. Mm-hmm. Beverly no, but Hills. the three of them were trying to have oh. their own thing. That makes sense. I mean, I know we saw it early on in Beverly Hills. Yeah. Like early on in like the first couple of years Kyle mm-hmm. and Kim were on. And right. We, we came across it, but yeah. I don't know. And we were just like, like what? well, this is amazing. It's kind weird. of, it, it is like, it's like a sizzle reel. Look, right. right. But not right. And the low in, rent. The intention was good. And like, I mean, it was shot horribly. The, their intention was sweet, but like to watch it now, like 12, 15 years, however long ago it was, like, Talk about like tone deaf and yeah. not understanding like the struggles of, <laughs> like, of, of people who live on the street and yeah. why they're on the street. It just was like, oh my god! Yeah. Like you probably got it freaking taken off the internet. You probably don't remember telling Kyle like I saw this weird thing. You might want to get your get your team on that. Now we can't find it anywhere. I, know, I wish we could just like um, crazy. Okay, so wait, let me get to what else I want to get to next. Oh, last thing on Halloween. Um, Jax and Brittany and their baby, I think, did such a good costume thing. And I really, I really appreciate that Brittany gave herself a mm-hmm, beard. Mm-hmm, she mm-hmm. was a a lady. A bearded lady. A bearded, a bearded lady. A bearded lady. And she literally From looks, the greatest show. She she looks so perfect. Yeah. I mean, it's like <laughs> crazy. I can't get over that baby. I too. also like, just have that- like respect for people that just will go as something. I mean, first of all, I think because I'm triggered by like a hairy female face because <laughs> I have one. You have to do the that. Plucking. I can't believe that you would then put it on and kill it for 
Because I'm, yeah. I'm the one that still always goes pretty on Halloween. Yeah, because it's that thing where, like from, from Mean Girls, where she shows totally, up. Yeah, yeah. And you're just like, you don't you don't make yourself less attractive. It's yeah. the idea is to be something that's more attractive. But she still, her face is, is giving it, giving the beauty. Yeah. Oh, no. Totally. It's, it's and such the, a good costume. And, and the, I mean, their baby is... The, so damn the cute. The baby yeah. makes my ovaries throb. <laughs> and like the baby that little, is like that little boy. a giant baby boy. Like he's bigger than the other babies his age. So oh, I, I just kind of love that they like went around that he's like, it's really cute. And then they like put a, a mustache and his hair is so cute. Jax looks great. Yeah. I thought they were like Barbara of Seville or something. There's I was, rumors was that they're me. getting their own show. On oh, I hope they do. To either I mean, flip a house or move to Kentucky or something. Oh, I good. said they should run a bar in Kentucky yes. for kids for kids no oh, okay well, I thought well. it would be like um a, like I will put this out so many times take it steal it whatever remember when like um Sylvester Stallone rhinestone no oh. Sylvester yeah. Stallone and all that they had the um the expendables the restaurant that was like oh the hard rock or hard not hard, Ro- planet Hollywood planet Hollywood yeah planet Hollywood they all started Planet Hollywood. Oh. I think there would be if if it was maybe not in Kentucky, but like maybe even here, you start a restaurant that's just like Vander Hollywood, yes, Rob just Hollywood. Rea- but you could even expand it to all reality shows, and you get all those fun mm. like a rock of love, and like you frame it, and then like Planet Reality. And then these How about thirst- that? And these thirsty people will totally come by and eat there because they're not on reality TV. So anybody that comes to this thing, you know, you're going to see somebody, reality and you're going to get to take photos with all that reality world and grill. And grill. <laughs> I think Planet, Planet reality. reality. I think Planet. Uh, that's a great idea. Yeah, now welcome. you never really saw celebs at those things though, but you would because this is reality. So right? they would and be there. Want to? Yeah. Great idea. They should do it. You're welcome. That just shows also what a good sense of humor they all have. Yeah, and he's not. She's not worried about what he's going to think about her. You know what I mean? Like I love like, it. Oh, I, it's great. A also, on I a just baby did. I cute. just did an. Uh, I just noticed that there was a story on page six. I did it last week. That a girl that actually can kind of grow a bit of a beard is killing it on OnlyFans. Really? Uh, yeah, there's this whole movement of just being ugly and gross on OnlyFans and making a lot of money. Or being naturalistic, really? I guess. How yeah. much money are we talking about? 15000 a month. Hmm. Do we have to get naked? or You just grow a beard. Well, Julie can do that by Tuesday. I can do it in a week. <laughs> I can do it in three days. <laughs> three days tops. Sometimes I Full she beard. has a, a, a magnifying mirror in her bathroom, and I'll walk by and just see her like in it, and I'll be like, oh, do you have like a pimple? And she's like, no, I'm doing stuff with my ha- hair. And but it's like she, I don't know what I yeah, don't know what she does. Yeah, there's sometimes when there's a certain light, you're like, holy fuck, it's a golden yeah, era. Uh, all the lights. It's a golden yeah. hour. There's a golden hour. <laughs> oh, like in the rear view. Uh, d- also, when you go from the 101 to the 405, certain times of the year around 4:30 <laughs> p.m. Yeah. If you're stuck there, have a tweezer in your car at all times. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I like to have that shaver, even. Oh, the shaver to shave your face. Yeah, but it's like because I'm more, more, mainly noticing. I think, think Julie seeing like, but I mean, the, the fuzz gets thicker to the point where you're like, oh, do I have like a flavor saver or what? I, but- I'm scared all the time. <laughs> I am fu- constantly scared. I'm either going to be on a desert island. I'm going to yes. be in the emergency room. I'm going to do something where I'm going to be incapacitated and I won't have access to a tweezer or razor or whatever. And I will grow a full beard <laughs> within three days because I will. Well, it's called prison. <laughs> or and prison. And that's one of my biggest fears mm-hmm. is going to prison um, because prison is scary. I also heard they don't give you enough water. Uh, the food is not good. <laughs> oh, and also, one pillow, I die. I sleep with like 12. Oh, mm-hmm. Like all around my body, like in between my thighs. And also, um, the hair situation Awful. for hair dye. I'd be like that old lady with gray hair. And then I'd be an old lady. I would be fucking Willie Nelson. I would <laughs> have, have like the whiskers. <laughs> and long gray hair. So I, I'm telling you, if it looks like I'm going... To prison, I'm running away well, and we, ending it for myself. Yeah, we could be in prison. You could do braids like Willie Nelson. I'll be full gray, full beard, full. But I'll be like, here. Uh, we're like, um, you'll be like Waylon Jennings, and she could be like <laughs> Willie Nelson. Oh my god! You know, the only way prison would work is if I had a couple other comedy friends that were also in prison. And what about Julie? She, she would look like time. the muscle. You wouldn't be as scared if it was like. Yeah, this like, is what Spike. Do you want? Don't fuck with me. I got right. Spike right here. Heather's got appointments all day. What do you want? <laughs> you know what I mean? What do you want? Huh? 
<laughs> Heather's Hold in there doing interviews on the phone, like getting extra Off phone calls. Off the phone. You got 10 minutes already. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, you got some lip? Huh? Hold on a second. You got some lip? Oh, yeah. Wait, I want to yeah. show you this one thing I thought was – since we're talking about prison, I'm jumping around here. Love After Lockup, which I was pretty into. I kind of don't follow it that much anymore. But this girl, Angela, she had a boy – she's been on it a lot. She um, she basically – you know how you have fr- – you know how people – that you follow, I'm sure you have friends that are like into like rescuing dogs. Mm-hmm. And they're like, this little cutie needs a home and was found on a freeway off of Riverside or whatever. She does that with hot guys in prison. And she, <laughs> but this guy, some is, of them this, she is keeps this guy low key hot or what? I mean, he's. He looks, he's kind of cute. Yeah, he's I mean, a beanie little... helps. And I mean, you know, he's hot. She goes, whoops, I did it again. Just got me a new pen pal. Before you all jump to conclusion, he's not my man. Not yet. But. If somebody don't snag him, I might just decide. I do want and need this man in my life. He She's trying to get arrested? Time. He doesn't have much time left in there, so he'll be coming home soon. Ooh. Like, doesn't that sound like a like someone that's yeah. trying to give away a dog? Like, he appears to only be four, so still has a lot yeah. of life ahead of him. Maybe not going to be good with kids. Right. Yet. <laughs> yes. If you have any other kids, just he should or be in a home. He should be the only house. man around. Yeah. Right. Um, Don't have any girls around. <laughs> yes. He or has, young children. He's had problems with loyalty, <laughs> but he's he's got you know gr- a great great abs. Uh, could work a tattoo gun. And he is lactose intolerant, mm-hmm. and you do have to give him a shot once a day. He has, <laughs> but that we'll, we'll, we will provide that. He does have night terrors, and also, <laughs> uh, you want to keep all the knives dull around the house, yes. most likely. But la- listen, ladies, like, let me share the wealth. You're a single girl, and you want a hot prisoner. This one is coming out. Not much time left. I say you get on it now. And try to be the one that picks him up when he walks out with his bag of clothes. I'm feeling the prison matchmaker lady. Like, this could be her million dollar mm-hmm. matchmaker or I'm whatever. I'm telling you, Angela after lockup, Angela dot love after lockup. She's not only looking for herself, but she's keeping her sisters in mind. And you know what? The only, <laughs> there's only one, there's a small insurance liability form you fill out. Like okay. in order to have the service. Right. So oh, she's okay. not liable. So all you need happens. to do is sign away. If he kills you, beats you, rapes you, or any of your children. Or a sleep check, 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 check. Or yeah. sister or mother or father. Or just or simply father. robs you. Or robs you. Or embezzles money. I am not Takes liable. your jewels. We are just the agency to connect. <laughs> okay? We're just the agency to connect. That's it. I think her. I think her hey matchmaker girls, show. I found yeah. a good one out of San Quentin. Um, <laughs> exactly. He's been working out for 18 years straight. Mm. Um, he w- had a great job at the cafeteria so he can cook. Mm. A, a, a special clause got him off death row so he's back available. Yes. He's for the picking. He never even sucked one dick. Not the whole time in prison. <laughs> now no one's going to believe that. <laughs> no one's going to buy that. That could right. be a plus anyway. I love it. Okay, mm. hold on. Let me get to my next thingamajig here. Oh, Kylie Jenner um, is with what's her husband's boyfriend's baby daddy name? Travis, Travis Scott. Travis Scott, and <laughs> not Travis Barker, Travis Scott. And he got his daughter, little Stormy, and Kylie matching rings. And I mean, it's like a pear shaped and a square diamond together on Kylie, and it's got to be pff, eight. Carrots each, maybe of the of together, so it's like sixteen carrots. Then the little girl, her square and diamond is definitely like two carrots each. My, I just want to say my ring that I got twenty one years ago is just a little over one carrot. So I want to know what park she's playing at, and anybody that has a <laughs> exactly. metal detector should be uh, like popping around because that might fall off when she goes down the slide. I do just want to say one thing, which yes. is, and I don't know if it's just because of the way it's described. I thought that was him and her. Like I thought for a second that was his hand. It was so kind of was Travis's hand. It was like it was like oh my lo- god! I didn't realize his hand, his hand was, was so like small. That. Oh, you see, what <laughs> like if you look at that, because you, you said what's his? Who's daddy she got us matching rings. Like oh, that's nice. They're two. Yeah. Wait a minute. 
Mm. Just wanted to throw that out there. So, anyway, you know, they have a ton of money. And what money. do you give your billionaire girlfriend who's carrying your second baby? Something that would make her excited because they're matching rings and even and super expensive and high quality and so okay. And a note to the staff: if 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 none of us can follow them to a park, they also like to cook together. Yes. there's videos of them cooking, which are very soothing. That's also, true. we love to listen to their voices, That's Stormy true. and Kylie together, because yeah, yeah. Kylie's always Stormy. <laughs> she's so like yeah. So even just the way she's touching her there, it's like so soothing. Yeah, but those the little ring, Stormy's ring, will end up in some sort of batter. So the staff should just True. come on by. Oh, good idea. And get that right well, out of there. It, I mean, I can't even as an adult keep earrings that are connected to my ear in my head. <laughs> and this is a child with a, how much is that? A million dollar ring or whatever? I mean, for That's her, gonna be lost, for isn't her it? it's probably like, you know, 30, 40,000 on the little oh. girl, I would think. Mm. And then for Kylie, it's probably. But she won't lose like that. Like maybe 500,000. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I'm not a huge fan of a pear shape. That's what my mom's is, but it's it definitely blings. Like you imagine, she get, he gives it to her, and she's like, "I'm not a huge fan of a pear <laughs> shape." I could imagine it. Anyway, well, <laughs> good for them. Listen, they're never. I don't think they'll ever get married. Why would they? Why would she want to complicate her life? Right. By marrying I did oh, think they that they broke be- up and were co-parenting, but are they back together? Um. Yeah, they're back together. They went trick or treating together. Oh, okay. Okay, now this is sad, and we need to find this woman, but it's pretty juicy. This missing accountant, she's 39. Her firm is being investigated for over $43 million in fraud. And she's been missing since October 17th. She went to her son's uh, football game in Downey, California. She left halfway through. She was co-parenting nicely with her ex, so the ex was there. And she seemed a little, like, edgy, and she's like, I have to go. She left. On the 20th of October, it was her day to pick him up from school at his school in Westwood, and she never came. So she's been missing officially since October 20th. There, I'm going to do some of the tips. So her name is Heidi Plank. Plank? How would you say that last name? P-L-A-N-C-K. Plank. 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 And, um, and it was her 10-year-old son's game that she was at. And um, so she's been missing since October 20th. And one of the last sightings, she um, was with her dog named Seven. And then she uh, went to the house to watch the football game with her ex-husband, Jim. And then she left the game looking antsy. The dog was found on the night of October 17th. So she might have been missing. Like something's going on with this investigation of this firm she worked for where they're and you know 43 million dollars is missing and she was the head accountant of all the people oh and so i think she maybe got some type of call left was like what met with someone and they either have her or they killed her and then the dog somehow ended up in this apartment complex downtown And the owners of the apartment building are refusing to cooperate with investigators and hand over footage without a warrant. But they probably will now because they're listening to Juicy Scoop and they're like, sorry, I didn't know it was such a big deal. And um, anyway, she was a financial controller and the managing partner of her investment firm, which is currently under investigation for $43 million in fraud. And um, yeah. Do you think she disappeared herself because she's liable for that fraud? Ooh. You know? Maybe, but I think. I think God not um, talking to your mom or your son and that the the husband, she has a good relationship with her ex. I don't know. I mean, I definitely think something's fishy. And she was in downtown L.A., even though this. No, the, down, um, the dog, the dog was found in a downtown. building in downtown L.A. The game was in Downey. She left the game in Downey halfway through with the dog. And then, and the then later that night, the dog was found. Yes. And then a couple days wow. later, he did think it was strange that they had not texted or, or been in touch, but he was in charge of the child. And then on the 20th, she was to pick him up from school, and she never showed up. Oh, Oof. that is very odd. And also, it's, it's odd that the dog is left, because if something had killed her, you'd think they'd kill the dog, too. Or was it like, come to this place near downtown L.A. to deal with whatever this mess is covered up whatever they took her and the dog went running off and ended up 
a cute couple seeing this dog that's obviously well kept oh. and has a chip and everything took the dog in and then the ex husband once you know nobody they didn't know how to get the dog back anywhere cuz like no one was and then the chip the dad once the, he realized his wife was ex wife was missing the dad then activated the chip or whatever and then they found that this couple had been taking care of the dog oh. so they want to get surveillance cameras around the building to see with yeah. anyone else around the dog how far did the dog run to to meet this couple and then the couple obviously the couple's not in trouble or anything but like um wow that's crazy yeah, i know and i it, i think it's going to be um on dateline so it's just like a like probably this weekend or something it definitely has to do with that that yeah Co- the the money. financial business, yeah. Yep. I mean, that's a lot of money. Million of an investment firm, and like the guy, like there's this article goes deep, but like the person involved is like a part owner of a basketball team. Like they, there's big, big money, big, big players of this investment firm, which uh, which the FBI and what do you call it, the SBI? I don't, I don't know. They, they're, they're the people that look into like yeah, fraud financial and crimes. Yes. Of course, the woman had to go down by 20 men involved. The, the woman, it's her fault. You know what? Let's just right. kill Heidi and we'll all just we'll all just go. We didn't know she was doing all the fraud. Yeah. Like what? Terrible. Or she found it out. And then, you know what I mean? Like she's a she managing did it or she partner. Yeah, or she knows something. She didn't. Maybe she knows something and right. they know and they know that she was going to like turn. Right. Yeah, because it doesn't seem Ugh. like she was living like a fancy life where she was benefiting from forty three million dollars of fraud. Right, like she looks to have a normal car and like, although the she, son goes to school in Westwood, which is nice, that is an expense That's that could true. be like a fifty sixty thousand dollars school. But her getting well, antsy at the game, I bet you she saw someone like Ugh. lurking and looking shady, and she was or like, she "Let got me a call or let me get away come. from my son." Or yeah, yeah, meet meet us here, and she's like, "Oh great, uh." Horrible, that's like, sad. few days. If, if she is dead, that's just a terrible few days leading up to that. Yeah. Um, okay, where are we here? Okay. Uh, Brittany. Brittany says, according to Bustle.com, that UK, that she wants to tell her story in an unconventional way. Through puppets. Oh. <laughs> through puppetry. It's okay. going to be through puppetry, movement, <laughs> um, and also possibly, like, um, spoken word. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? So she'll do spoken word, puppetry, maybe reenactments. Okay. Like like her Halloween post. Um, let's uh, go to yes. the Halloween post, which I have here. So mm. she did these photos of her with her in a lingerie little dress, big high heels, uh, wrapped like, like she was bound and gagged, blood coming from her mouth, did a lot of photos of it. <laughs> also laid down on this carpet and did not do a good job of Photoshopping, as you can see. The, she, the very first she made comment, her waist and everything smaller. Yeah, the first comment was like, "My favorite thing is the Photoshop rug," and I was like, <laughs> "Like, that's the first comment of all the." My favorite thing is the Photoshop rug. It's so funny. Let's just read what she said because it's strange. Five forty-five. I'm now. I am just going to do her voice because that's what I do. People, so come after me. I can do someone's voice. Now you may say it's not even good an impression. Okay. Five forty-five. She arrived. The doorman said she can come home alone. She went to dinner with two girlfriends and had a drink, took a cab home, and was found on the floor by her neighbor. It remains a mystery. (laughs) And then there's all the emojis of like a detective hat, a little cat that's scared. (laughs) Who would do such a thing? They had a wonderful family, and of course, they were nowhere nearby. Pretty lame I did this for Halloween (laughs) last night. But it interpretation coincided with opposition. What are the beneficial effects of imaginative reality? Is effort to play it out an insult? Or is effort simply put just a play? One might do it better, but who on earth, with an earth, would do one bad? I mean, come on, let's play. Let's start thoughts. I mean, (laughs) is this just, just, she broke her leg too. (laughs) Why is that funny? And what, what is this? I'm not showing my lips for an ad for lip injections in this video. What the? On a a special note, stay classy. (laughs) (laughs) Marika and Doha. America. What is that? Stay classy, America. Stay classy, America. America. Oh. (laughs) From that, from the Will Ferrell movie? Okay. And don't do anything I wouldn't do because that's like a whole lot, y'all. Let me explain myself. Is that sliced cucumbers? 
Yeah. Is oh, it is. So she's going to explain herself <laughs> with sliced, cucumber. sliced, sliced yeah. cucumbers. Okay. Two of them, not just I'm one. I'm saying in a crazy world like we have today that it's pretty important to stay safe, <laughs> like we did for COVID, y'all. But still have fun. I mean, duh. It's been 13 years for me, so I'm a little rusty. Ma and Dad, can I drive my car now? Just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> can I play now? I just really don't want to offend anyone, though. <sighs> oh, but wait. What are we watching tonight on TV? Holy crap, you guys. Gotta check out <laughs> Lock and Key on Netflix. It's pretty good. Was the whole thing a paid what the hell? thing for Lock and Key? Did Lock and Key... Pay hey, Britney Spears. Wait, I'm to not post. watching Lock and Key. Is this uh, what Lock and Key is about? Yeah, it's like a, a people who have a podcast. No, yeah, isn't Lock that the one? Key. No, Lock, Lock and Key is the one with the the family moves into the house and it's magical, sort of. And this kid stumbles upon a key, and you basically the the key opens portals of the house and to the time and there's a woman who was murdered there and then she's there and she wants you to open the portal and then because she, she wants to come out when she but comes it's out. Two, that's it's two years thing. old, isn't it? They have a new season that's out now. Oh, then they paid her. This is a paid post oh my God. For, a chi- no. for a children's show where she put blood all over her neck and laid down like a corpse who was bound. And- Nobody paid her for this. I don't know. Why are we doing an at lock and key Netflix mention at the that's end? so bizarre that it ends with lock and key. Because it's it's go it's going. What does the um, cucumbers have to do with it? I don't know. <laughs> Let me just tell you the emoji she used. She used a little detective face. She used a alarmed cat. <laughs> she used pumpkins. She used an earth. She um, the cucumbers. Did a, the she did a, she used a, at least she did six a, winks. Yeah, a lot I like of to call that lady. Like, I don't know. I call that lady the useless bitch. <laughs> Which Th- one? That emoji. She's like this. I'm always like, look at this useless bitch. She doesn't know anything. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, so C- chop cucumber in my mind is chop chop. Oh, but let me explain know. myself. Chop, chop chop. Let me explain myself. Chop chopping vegetables. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to start know. using the cucumber emoji though. Stat like along immediately when with, I leave. Along with the class Can that I, I plan you? on one day teaching <laughs> about Real Housewives <laughs> at the college level, <laughs> I am also going to create another class. Called analyzing Britney's post <laughs> post conservatorship. Yes. Forget about the old ones. Yes, this is her now. Mm-hmm. I believe mm-hmm. she makes and a it's reference. time we need to analyze this as well. She does say, "Let's play." Can I play now? Are we playing several times? So there's definitely something about her telling her parents that now she can play because she never was allowed to play, and she wants to play murder. She wants to play murder oh. slut on the rock. Or whatever. <laughs> like, no one ever let me do it before, but now I can now. <laughs> I'm going to be in a lingerie. What's her boyfriend's name? Sam. Oh, Sam, you're going to do it. I'm going to get my lingerie. Then I'm going to put my big heels on. Then I'm going to lay down with blood. Because I'm playing, y'all. I'm playing. Like, she's playing. She's there's a there's a different there. She I hope she got paid that she's five playing. million dollars for this post. I wish that she. Was I think too. she did because people might know. I did not know about Lock and Key, and now I'm kind of like, yeah, I want to fucking maybe watch it and figure I mean, out what what she's trying to tell I, me. I and it's a cautionary tale for these companies that want to be like, let's have Britney post about it, and then like. <sighs> Yeah, no, that's not. We didn't realize. Uh, we or, thought, or maybe it helped. Maybe their numbers go up. The show is cute. I like it. I think it's good. It's cute. Yeah, it's, it's like scary. It's, for, it's not really scary. Oh, it's, for it's, kids? it's like a little fantasy kids show. Oh, but not even kids. It's for the family. Well, here's a, a new movie show. that's coming out, and it is about Janet Jackson's uh, titty. <laughs> and they said, investigation has begun regarding Janet Jackson's 2004 Super Bowl malfunction for an upcoming documentary. I, a documentary about her, her tit popping out of the shirt. And everything that went down and around it. Was it planned? Was it not? Was it yeah. part of it was going to show, but the sticker was going to come? Were we supposed to see the piercing? How much did Justin know? Who thought of it? I can't recall. There was a pasty on it, wasn't there? Right. But, no, but the, so the it was like... It ripped off, and then the tit was supposed to be out with the pasty, but when it ripped off, the pasty came off, too, and we just saw the uh, nipple ring. That's So what I we remember. did see her full nip? So it was always like, you did plan to rip it, but the pasty was supposed to be on. 
which would have been shocking too, but it would have been okay because remember um, Diana Ross went to Nicki Minaj and yeah. did that and she had just her tit out with a pasty. So as long as you have a pasty, and we've all watched Housewives where their tits are everywhere with just tiny, you could have a full boob out as long as you cover up that nip. Okay. But the nip thing was gone, so they were like, that's why people always thought, no, you guys planned it. This was not a malfunction. So there's got to be all backstage or footage. it was a malfunction because they didn't plan to have the because thing Because then we yeah. need that because people don't – we all need to have a mystery as to yes. what's <laughs> under the, um, the tassel well, she could or have, whatever. She could be nippleless. She could a, have yeah, been born. That's right. Um, nippleless. But yeah. uh, you know what? I will want to watch that because I want to watch I people drag that. Justin Timberlake <laughs> for being like, wasn't my fault. Yeah, I'm gonna get pet plow through these because I just, I still want to touch on this. Jessica Simpson celebrated four years of sobriety with a candid photo showing unrecognizable version of her, herself, which was very. I mean, this photo is shocking. I was like, wait, that's her. I had to zoom in to really like see her face. Then you go, oh, I do see her in there now. What oh, really yeah. tripped me out, and you can't tell in this picture because of the the titles, yeah. is you can see, and I don't know, is it her husband? You can see the exact outline shadow of the person taking the photo mm-hmm. in the the couch or whatever oh. she's sitting on. And it's so trippy because you can see the whole phone. And I'm just staring at yeah. that shadow like, was who took this photo of her and they knew that... That but she'd she, hit rock bottom yeah. and they wanted to yeah, be like... Yeah, show it to her. Yeah. Interesting. And it made me feel I read weird. the book and that part um, it was very interesting. Her, we listened to it, on, to it on, on tape too, the, the book. Yeah. Um, well, okay. So, you know, Facebook, they changed the name to Meta. But, um, and, but he chose the name without realizing it had already been trademarked. And the guys are offering it to him for twenty million. How happy are they? <laughs> so the founders, Joe Darger and Zach Shut, tell us they've been operating Meta PC for a little over a year, but recently filed docs to formally trademark their brand. While Meta PC's trademark petition hasn't yet been granted, they still have a lead on Zuckerberg if he tries to claim it for his rebranded company. For that, they said they're willing to give it up for um, to him for the the twenty million. So. God, that seems low. Mm-hmm. Or, I would take or, him for you know everything what? he's worth. I yeah. say, he, why doesn't he just change the name? Yeah, we don't I like did, it anyway. Is that why they said he was going to change it to Meredith? <laughs> oh, my God. Did you hear that? I didn't hear that. Meredith World? Maybe I just created that in my head. I don't know. Lesbian news. Kristen Stewart <laughs> reveals she's engaged to her girlfriend, Dylan Meyer, after two years. It's happening. They are engaged. They are happy. Now, remember, during all the vampire stuff, she was engaged or very close to, what was his name? Robert Pattinson. Robert, And then remember when she got caught cheating on him mm-hmm. up against that little car? And in the car. What was that little car? A Mazda Miata? No, it was like a Fiat. No, oh, I don't it know. was, was the... It, um, was it a smart car? It she, was like a very small car. And it was with a, a male, it was like the, a male director. The she director of on the him. movie she was on. And she definitely went um, down on him. And Julie at the time when I'd be like, Kristen Stewart's a lesbian. And Julie'd be like, but what about the director? I'd be like, Kristen Stewart's a lesbian. <laughs> Did you, kn- I knew she was a lesbian when she was trapped in that room with panic, Jodie Foster. Panic plan, flight <laughs> yeah, plan, panic, panic yeah. Me too. Of I have a gaydar. Yeah. For children, <laughs> yeah, that and people, is never been wrong. Never been wrong. Sometimes it takes a few years for it to come out. Yeah, they never have to. Wrong. They have to know. We know. Mm-hmm. And I always think, oh, they, even, maybe they and, don't know yet. And even with like, you know, again, like with the whole thing with Shiloh, who was everyone thought she's trans. She's dressed as a boy. I remember. I said, I don't know what her sexuality is. I have said this before. But I know she's good. I would not be surprised if when she gets to a certain age and wakes up and every day her body is getting fucking better and better. Tits, tiny waist. There's only one time in your life where you wake up and you're like, it, every day my body's getting better and better. I'm like, I, I think this is – I think she'll uh, embrace her feminine side. Wearing dresses now. Mm. No longer in the suits, letting the hair grow. Mm. Looks just like her mom. She's so gorgeous. And and now who knows? She could be gay, straight. She could still go back and be trans. But I just, I am not surprised that as a teenager, she is now, and I think her parents handled it 
correctly. They let her dress the way she wanted. She wanted short hair. Let them do their thing. Yeah. But maybe, but you know, maybe hold off on the steps, the medical steps. You know, I'll probably get shit for that too. But that's my opinion. Let your kid be your kid. Definitely, they, the kids you know? need the freedom of expression, and they yeah. need to see role models if they if they like mm-hmm. to Let you know to have short hair and look and yeah all that. yeah. Well, sometimes the thing is that. with the little tomboy or little like lesbian who will go more masculine. Yeah, is that the only role model you have is men? So. That's why a lot of times little lesbians go and want to wear suits and short hair and blah blah blah, because that's the role model that you feel uh, you feel that you relate to. Right. But then sometimes when you see that oh, a woman can be like that, then you're like oh, I'm I'm just like a big dyke. <laughs> Show you know more big mean? dykes, guys. Anyway, they're getting married. I don't know what this girl does, but good for them. I tried to find out what she does too, and then I just said, why am I looking for this? <laughs> Okay, and then well. I just, but I do want to know if anyone. So knows. a lot of people are freaking out over the hideous clothes mm. that are being sold at Target. Okay, oh. they, this has been going on for a year and a half. It's also at Nordstrom's. It's these prairie dresses that are unflattering. I don't know if they all thought that everyone gained an extra hundred pounds during <laughs> COVID. I know some of us have, but what is this look? It's prairie. It's and um, I went to Target to try them on myself. As mm. you know, I'm into fashion and um here we go <laughs> i am yes yes i am work, i am work. right in this one i'm wearing a pleather orange skirt mm. a like kind of a native american looking cream top mm-hmm. and a, a copper looking shawl i think you're giving medieval peasant glamour oh, that's uh, good. It's churning butter i think it's any, yeah. it would work great for churning butter but it could mm-hmm. go well at a renaissance fair renaissance Julie's right. like giving you like the sort of plague i'm i don't have the plague during the black plague <laughs> the good news you know is that I, mean? I tried on about 12 outfits and we are putting together a video for the tiktok mm. and for the, the uh Instagram. So follow me at Heather McDonald and you will see the fashions. It is important to note that your target, wow, it, it is upscale. <laughs> it, that is an upscale yes. target. First of all, yes. I don't see anybody hovering around no. the dressing room. No. I can tell you the target in Burbank has a line out the door at the dressing room. <laughs> well, this target is um, right here in Woodland Hills. It's upscale. Cross, you can guys can hit it if you want. Yeah, right I think we're going to stop this. by there. I'm I mean, get, it's, I'm it's like, a big reason I'm able to get people to come out to Woodland Hills. When I meet them at parties, I said, I really like you to. They go, "Where do you record?" I just say, "Across from a Target." They go, "That no problem." I go, "So you can just you mean go to Target right after Target meaning Fashion Square?" Yeah, <laughs> because um, we're going to hit it, and I'm going to get that outfit, and I had my eye on two other ones. Okay, that flowed because we the way saw I them all. It. Now, yep. did you put this together, or did they have this together on a mannequin? Well, I put it together. I thought, wow. you know, what better look? <laughs> and I mean, just it is so bad. And I have more respect for Target than I do Nordstroms because when I go to Nordstrom for the past year, they have had these horrific, <laughs> ugly tents that I've also featured on my social media. Infuriate because I have been going to Nordstrom for a long time. And there's a wonderful woman named Ellen there that helps me get my clothes. She's known to women all over. Ellen from Nordstrom. Fuck. She is a queen. Okay. Every time I see her, I go, how are you? How are they expecting you to live? <laughs> she works on commission. She's like, thank you. I love you. You know, like I, I and then she tries to show me who like bought this. This has a waist. And I go, no. Well, when no. You, one and thing about like, you. And those, those are like really expensive. At mm-hmm. least this is inexpensive clothes. You take the same ugly look. And want someone to spend nine hundred and fifty dollars on a tent? What were you going to say? Well, one thing about you that we always know is that you hate things with a lot of material. You hate when it's like too like the like the the early aughts when it was like a dress over jeans. Yeah, mm. oh, hated that. Yeah, so and it was it's funny seeing you in things that are just like I don't know that this this like prairie dress look and it's it can be i believe okay if the top is a tank top like if you're doing it at a beach so it's really boho so your whole 
all of this oh, yeah. is out and it's really baggy and you but it's and you're sort in a, of, and you're in a 12 million dollar Malibu home yes yeah barefoot but, but now you're yeah. gonna put in long sleeves with it and it really does look like you need protection from the sun it is just <laughs> in the field and you're I'm doing something some people that might remember another horrible error of fashion Laura Ashley mm-hmm. she did these dresses and everybody said if you're gonna rush at USC if you want to be in these top houses, you've got to get these Laura Ashley dresses. I said, no. I said, I can't. This I was your can't. TED Talk. There I was <laughs> at USC. I was going to rush. Everyone at the time said, if you're going to come in here. You want to be a DG? Delta Gabba, you got to get yourself a Laura Ashley dress. And I remember this girl that was really pretty. She had Laura Ashley dresses and every house wanted her. And I just said, mm. I can't, I can't. And I remember I went in there and this one girl, you know, I wore like a fitted waist and like a skirt, whatever, like a dress like that. And they're like, where are you from? And I said, I'm from the Valley. I didn't think they'd know Woodland Hills. Their face is scrunched up. <laughs> so, isn't it? Isn't it hot there? Isn't it? I said, oh, it's probably about 10 degrees hotter than here. And they said, oh. like, what do you? You drive all just... the way over that hill? And they go, what does your dad do? And I said, oh, my parents work together. Your mother works <laughs> as realtors. I go, you know, I thought this would sell it. They're like those faces you see on bus benches. They horrified. Oh. And they said, I'm just going to bring some of my friends over here. And they left me alone in this room <gasps> till the end. And then they – but I found my house. Yeah. And uh, and some girls did have Laura Ashley, but they didn't make it a requirement. The other time was the grunge. The grunge era, I did not shop for uh, two years then. And that was also baggy. Baggy gray, like a combat boot. Yeah. That was just – And that's coming back. That's I- fine if it comes back. Let me just tell you, people, just <laughs> put your foot down. You don't have to wear something that's ugly just because it's in. Well, some people like a baggy dress because they want to eat their full meal. They don't want to feel anything too tight. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> I mean, you came out in pants that you were trying to, and you'll show it on the TikTok. Yeah. And it was like, Julie and I were like, no, that looks good. Like, we were like, that. <laughs> We kind of want that outfit. Like you, if if, there's some stuff, if it works for your body, it's going to make somebody look like the model that they should be. Like you came out of there looking like a full on model. I'm like, don't let her near pants. I don't care if they're target pants because you were long legs and and looking like an actual, I was like, target probably was like, can you stay here in that outfit and walk around? Oh, we heard someone go, oh my God, that's so cute when you're walking by because you were, you were serving. I mean, I just, that I just, you know, I want people to be happy. Right now, a big movement in fashion, it's either these awful clothes or it's so skimpy and it's all about showing under tit cleavage. I just said that. Under tit cleavage. I just said that. Take your triangle top and a normal thing would be take the triangle top and put the string under your tits. Yeah. And tie it, lift them up. (laughs) No. Not if you want to get some likes and some Pete Davidson dick. You... (laughs) Put it right under the nip. Let the tit fat squeeze out the bottom. Forget about front cleavage. Forget about side cleavage. Under tit cleavage. It's Which is uncomfortable. At. How many times are you like, oh, I got to pull my bra down? It's like right nope. up. Let it right up. Wow. Let it right up. I got a great outfit. I got <laughs> Doc Martens <laughs> with some ripped jeans and nothing but... A nip top showing bottom of the tit. So good. <laughs> so good. And if you also grow a beard. Done. If you don't sign up for an OnlyFans page. I'm going to do it. You Why not? are so dumb. That's the grunge under tit beard OnlyFans. S- underscore. <laughs> underscore. I think we talked about under tit last time you were here. I'm obviously obsessed with it. Well, is it And you something? said that you. What? There's a thing we've been watching with when it's not just under tit. It's like. Right at the nip. Julie That's says, what I'm saying. Like, no, I don't but under- it's, it's, the it's just, yeah, it's just here. It's just right under the nip. You let that part show. Oh, because I'm, cause I'm no, just you- like, oh, my God, her boob is going to, it's like it's about to pop out. And Bella Hadid popularized it as well. Oh, Bella. Wait, what, another Bella I want to just say really quick. This was interesting. So this is um, 
Delilah Bell, Hamlin. And she did a 30-minute IGTV, and Juicy Scooper Lindsay broke it down for me <laughs> and wrote about this. She said, here are the cliff notes. That's how you know how old Lindsay is. No one uses cliff notes anymore. <laughs> I love cliff notes. Anyway, she said she had a variety. This is what Delilah is saying. I had a variety of undiagnosed illnesses that have been triggered and a couple that were diagnosed but reemerged because she apparently has Lyme disease. The things that have also reemerged are Epstein-Barr, PANDAS, which is a neurological disorder that is associated with strep infection. She was also di- and newly diagnosed with SIBO, six different tick-borne illnesses, including Lyme, strep, encephalitis. Flat. Encephalitis. So and she, she did get bitten by a tick, apparently. And anyway, she says, I have all these things. And she kept saying in her 30-minute thing that she's not – people don't want her to talk about it. She's not supposed to talk about it. So then, of course, people think, like, is somehow Lisa Renna being like, don't share this stuff. What is all this illness? And it's, and coincidentally, it's Lyme disease, which was what Lisa Renna accused Yolanda of not having, thinking it was Munchausen's. Mm-hmm. And all of that, which then made Lisa Renna look very bad. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's why Lisa's like, maybe don't mention Lyme disease, honey. <laughs> right, even though you have it, because it'll make me look good. Yeah. Like, you know what you did, Delilah, <laughs> by mentioning that you had the Lyme? <laughs> you made me look like an asshole. <laughs> and I'm an asshole! <laughs> Is this yeah. the one that dated? This is mm. the one that dated Scott Disick, right? Or no, that this is the other one. Delilah's the blonde, mm. and Amelia is the uh, brunette, and Amelia is who dated Scott Disick. At this point, I'm getting them mixed up with the girl on Dancing with the Stars, right. who was the one the, with the Lori Lo- sis- Loughlin, yeah, Olivia daughter. Jade. Oh, right. by the way, they're all to, Bella Jade, to Olivia, and Olivia Jade has a podcast. Oh, she oh, does, gosh. and she talked about Dancing with the Stars. Jesus. The ad was like. I'm super excited. Whenever anyone says I'm super excited about this, you're not. You're not super excited. But she says she's super excited. And it's just going to be conversations. Ugh. Shocking. <laughs> Shocking. God. I thought she was going to be, you know, dive, d- doing deep dives into the Middle East. Here's the thing. <laughs> I will I, – I, if I – I would love to have Olivia Jade on mm-hmm. because I would She'd ask – I on. would just ask her, girl – you had a 3-2. How did your friends not know that you obviously got into USC, not the, not like they did? Like, and would you ask her one thing I, on our behalf? Yes. Because we've been watching Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. We constantly say every time, why don't you just do dancing? Why did you have to fake being a rower? <laughs> yeah. She's a pretty good dancer. Mm-hmm. Because I think the guy said that because it was like a weird sport that, that you could easily mm-hmm. fake because so few people were doing it. So I think – and he had the in with the rowing team people. He didn't have the in with the dance oh, team. Right. But why not just actually dance and get a skill while you're in Because she school. wanted to go to USC. Her parents didn't want to go to football games at ASU. It's too hot. They wanted to go to them at USC. So they went – they wanted – they just were like, this is easy. It's all I have to do. She didn't have to even fill it out. She have to write an essay. Yeah, she's also mm-hmm. just like really not leaning in. It's just not a good look. On Dancing with the Stars, you know, like the od- like the audience it's puts her in the even though you know it's the producers, yeah. but they put her in the bottom, and she's like, I don't know, maybe America just hates me, and we're like, mm-hmm. Yeah, possibly. They do. Well, she's gonna have some conversations, and you can listen to them. Yeah, she's conversations. Wait. Is that what it's called? Conversations, yeah, it's called with conversations with Olivia Jade. Yes. Yeah. It is? Yes. No. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Are you kidding? It's called Conversations with Olivia Jade. It's something like that, yeah. Uh, well, then, yes. Obviously. I, I think- do want to say one thing about this. I will give it to this girl. The thing that Yolanda didn't do yes. <laughs> on when she was on Housewives and she got diagnosed with Lyme disease is that she kept harping on that it was Lyme disease, but that she had all these other things with no name. No one knew what they were. She was... It was the breast implants. It was always that there was the implant that took them out, and then... And there was just something new all the time, and she was... She just wouldn't... She was being elusive about it. But at least this one is being like, I got SIBO, I got Lyme, I got strep, I got encephalitis. So it's a little more pinpointed, so you could at least go, well, like, you can't... You can't deny... You've been yeah. diagnosed with that. You know right. what I mean? And that's just what, for well, me, I with mean, Yolanda. I feel badly for her. anybody that's sick or struggling with not feeling well. So I hope that she figures it out. But, uh, 
Yeah, she did a 30-minute thing on it. And her lips are huge, this girl. <laughs> they def- but The girls definitely get their lips filled, too. I think they had very nice lips before, but... I thought when they were in high school, they were... And I don't know if they were still getting them injected in high school, but they were pretty big, I thought. Yeah, I mean, I think Lisa had good lips to start, but, you know... At this point, she's you just have it. to yeah. keep she's owning getting it. bigger and big. She's owning it? Yeah, she's owning it. She's owning it. We're owning <laughs> our lips. We're owning yeah. Harry fucking Hamlin's blueberry pies and <laughs> sauces. And sauce. Sauce. You guys, I am very excited to say that um, you will be joining me, Julie. I think Brandy's going to be with us, though, aren't you? I'll be lurking, yeah. Lurking. Um, we are going to be at the City Winery in Atlanta on Friday, November 19th. There are two shows. There are still tickets available. Not a lot, though. Not a lot left. I definitely anticipate this will sell out. Have you been you having every fun show? doing your, your tour? I have. I mean, this month is, is busy. I've got New York, Boston, Atlanta, and then Nashville. Mm. And then I'll have a, a bit of a break over the holidays and all that from touring. But um, is there anything else that you guys, I know you have your podcast. Tell everybody where they can follow you and fall in love. Um, our podcast is called Dumb Gay Politics. If you want to hear liberal politics, <laughs> it's free. It's on everywhere you get your podcast. If you don't want to hear that, then you can do our Patreon, um, patreon.com slash dumbgaypolitics or julianbrandy.com. Mm-hmm. We just do no, no politics. None. Just zero. We did mushrooms and went into a haunted house on Halloween. That's what we did on the last yeah. podcast. Patreon. Okay. All mm-hmm. right, great. Yeah. That we're trying. We're trying yeah. not to drink, so we're just like doing mushrooms, other random <laughs> drugs. Yeah, I heard mushrooms are making a huge comeback. Yeah, Do, is there truffles involved in that? No, <laughs> I like truffles. I love mushroom. truffles. Yeah, no, we didn't make a pasta with it. No, we put it in peanut butter pita. Right. I know. A mushroom and a peanut butter? I don't want to do any drugs. I'm just going to tell you right now. <laughs> I know. We know. I'm too old. It's It scares me. I yeah. I don't like any kind of like itchy like feeling. Yeah. 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 No, well, it's like we're trying not to drink for three weeks leading up to my show. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, my God. Imagine how cut you're going to look. Uh, uh, fingers crossed from your lips. My beard is going to be full. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is going to be full. Okay, is all I'm going to say. We're trying. We are trying. You know, I mean, I got a Vespa. We literally recorded on the scooter driving Don't, around. Oh, you're copying Peter? Did he get a Vespa? Um, not a Vespa. He has just a regular scooter. Like Peter, a scooter. well talk. What's a waiter, regular scooter? It's like a little scooter. Oh, like a nice. Honda Elite? No, like the ones that you can rent for a dollar. No, 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 no. Oh. I'm talking about like a little automatic motorcycle. And you guys go on together like that? We did one time. One time. For the Patreon. Mm-hmm. For the Patreon. Yeah. What do you mean? You put the... <laughs> yeah, and it sounded horrific. Like yeah. somebody said, it oh, sounds like you're... Oh, you're recording it while you're on it? Mm-hmm. Well, I hadn't ridden behind her before, and so we did it. Yeah. Because we can't... <laughs> Listen, we're not... Like we always say, we're not going to do Juicy Scoop on our Patreon, because this right. is the only place you need to come to get the gossip. Yes, the hot right. goss is here. Right. Yeah. So what else do we... we we're, we're, we're just... We're, we're looking for content. Yeah, we're just content. So we thought, what are we going to do? Chasers. Let's get on the Vespa and nice. ride around. And we'll do a thing from there. I and love we did. It. <laughs> love you guys. Love, love you. you. Thank, Thank you for having you. us. We'll Thank see you, you in Atlanta. So <laughs> Thank you.